Welcome, guys. Hi. How are you? So, Angie, I understand that you were mentored by Olive uh, this just this past year. Can you tell us? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> That's the true sign of good friends. Um, can you tell us what led you to seek support from the program and what was it like having Olive as your mentor? Um, I was going through a difficult stage in life and I just needed that um, special someone to just help me walk through the difficult stages. Look, she wasn't that good, but eventually, eventually, she got up to scratch. But, yeah. Olive, can you tell us what was the process like to become a mentor? Uh, the first thing you need to do is to register your interests uh, with the coach team. Um, you don't need any special skills, you don't need to be a counsellor, you don't need to be a social worker, you just need to be yourself with a heart to serve. And um, that there will be training uh, that will bring you up to speed to be an effective mentor. There will be an application, an interview and a screening process after which, uh, after you've been matched, there will be an orientation uh, program for you to make sure that you've got all the support you need to start your off as a mentor. Wonderful. Angie, Olive field at all. <laughs> Angie, uh, you and Olive would meet on a weekly basis for about a year. Can you tell us how has life changed since going through the program? Dramatically. Yeah. I think I've used every service cross we had to offer. And um, yeah, it's le leaps and bounds. I now work for Crossway. Woo! Angie makes the best scones, the best scones at the cafe. I've got, and I've got a friend for life. Yeah. yeah. And a good friend. Olive, we'd love to know, how has being a mentor grown you? What impact has it had on your faith? Okay. Firstly, I think I'm truly blessed uh, through the relationship that we've established um, through coach. Uh, I've seen God's hand at work in healing and restoring. Uh, in growing and stretching as well of myself um, and I believe that as a disciple and who want to grow uh, as a disciple in God we have to surrender and move out of our comfort zone um, so I was too comfortable and so decided God decided to push me into the area of mentorship um, and to increase my circle of friendship uh, into an area in my natural I wouldn't have been involved you know, like for example, the word Coke, when Angela said to me she had Coke, I thought a fizzy caffeine drink would be fine, right? But what, what she was thinking of was that Colombian sort of Coke. So that's how different we are, you know, but God brought us together and um, we managed to um, see God work and experience God's uh, hand in it all uh, and to trust God and depend on God to see His wisdom, his strength, his purpose, his love, his joy and, and peace, you know, in the whole um, mentoring situation. Praise God. Can we, can we thank Angie and Olive? Thank you.